I, I feel like a lot of people are jumping onto the bandwagon saying we have to have Gen AI and we have to have it today. Uh, but one of the things I'm sort of hearing from discussions with our customers is they want to be able to leverage Gen AI, but when they think about it, they're not sure how to use it. Uh, especially in the test management space, uh, some of our customers and partners are talking about, we want to be able to start leveraging Gen AI so we can create test cases super quickly. We can uh, automatically have a lot of context uh, and we can do this seamlessly without human involvement. But I don't think it's the right time yet where we're going to be able to completely replace the tester uh, because some of the information that Gen AI has been producing is sometimes incorrect and sometimes it just makes stuff up. Uh, so we're seeing that it will definitely improve productivity for our testers, our developers, uh, but it is going to be a longer time at a point where it will fully replace it. For now, it's going to, I feel, definitely replace or start to replace, definitely make them a lot more efficient in all the work that they have to do is, is that's the perception that I've kind of been seeing from some of our customers and partner interactions. I think that's very much on point. And we did a bit of an, um, I wouldn't call it a study because you know that term has very precise meaning if you're talking to scientific people, but you know, a pseudoscientific study on giving, um, giving a set of requirements to uh, our generative AI test builder that we we're working on in the research lab and having an output test scenarios. And then on separate note, having a, uh, a skilled tester go in and take the same requirement and write the scenarios. And then we you know, repeat it over a volume of people so that we got some statistical meaningfulness out of it and um, thought about, okay, does it make you more efficient? And the answer was very strange. If you just sort of take the results of the Gen AI test cases and say, yep, this is, this is it, we're good to go, then you'll find that it gives you a false sense of completion because it's like, here's a requirement, I've written 10 test cases to cover that requirement or nine or seven, the number doesn't really matter, but it's written a number of test cases and they look dangerously good because they'll, they're not just like, you should test that it works. You should test that it doesn't work. It actually reads the requirement and you know, looks for positives and negatives and everything in the requirement. And so it looks like on the surface, this is complete. But we noticed that when we had a skilled tester write the test scenarios, there were a lot of gaps between what the what good coverage of the requirement looked like and what the Gen AI created. And the problem was that those gaps, because you had this false sense, like it looked like it was done, you didn't go looking for the gaps. So then if you went back and said, well, now I need to analyze this you know, critically and say, has that generative AI actually covered all those gaps? It took a similar amount of time to uh, find out if it had covered the gaps as it did to write the scenarios in the first place.